still there, which are mostly medicinal plants. So if you would like to walk out there and see. We are trying to do a small nursery. If you see like some dry leaves, way low to the ground, there's some seedlings under there with nursing. And those are vegetables, but somehow the chickens got in there and pecked, <laughs> pecked all the seeds. So we didn't really get a good uh, nursery this year. Yes. Yes, they are. From very um, diverse cities around this 10 mile area. Radius. How do they get me? They come privately in taxis or private cars. Some parents have motorcycles. Yes. Yes. Can you, can you talk a little bit more about that? Do you sell the curriculum or? No, we don't sell the curriculum. I hadn't thought of that. But now you got my mind going, right? <laughs> well, basically, it's the Ghanaian standard curriculum. And then we infuse arts heavily. So we have the natural um, gardening. We have the cultural dancing. We have the cooking. We have the sewing. We have um, a dink run cloth we make here and there, tie dye, different things in different seasons. So arts is really our strong suit with the curriculum and then pan African history. Those are the differences in the curriculum. Yes. No, we don't have a package curriculum. We just kind of do what we feel is needed during that time, that season. Yes. You know, there's a, a group for the sixth region. Have you heard of the eighty sixth region? Okay, there's a group of us uh, educators that are trying to come together and put together an uh, African Center package. But we're starting with kindergarten. Yeah, so we'll do kindergarten and we'll grow from there. But we don't have that ready yet. But we're on it. Yes. And what grade level can we go up to? Okay, this classroom over here is six months old to two and a half years. And then we go all the way up to ninth grade. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this, the, no, we don't have any foundation, so to speak. Teacher, uh, parents pay tuition, but it's the lowest tuition in the country. And so it's our uh, funding is supplemented by owner contributions and donors, sponsors like yourselves. Friends of a coma. That's how we are able to go right. We are in our 15th year. My mom started with her own money and it has continued that way. So it's, it's like very much a uh, labor of love. Yeah, yeah, yes. What language are these teachers English or English? Okay, we are in Fonti land. So they learn their native language here, which is Fonti. Just like we learn English in America, we have Fonti classes. And then the curriculum is basically taught in English. But the small children get very little English, and as they grow older, they get more and more English. So it's a mixture at this level. So you have to speak their language there. Hey. <laughs> I am trying. I am trying. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes. What language the Yes. Yes. Anybody else? Any other question here? Yes. How many members have the staff? Staff members are 17. There's three barbers right here. What about volunteers? Volunteers are always welcome. How many? We don't have any volunteers at the time, but you will be our first. Oh, you're volunteering? Excellent. All right, thank you for that. Yes, we run on participation from the community. We have a lot of community um, involvement, like right now when we come. And it just so happens that, you know, when it rains, it pours. So we had a group this morning. And so uh, it's pouring right now. And we're loving it and we're, we're thankful and we're accepting it all. Anybody else? around here for nursing. Yeah, nursing.
in a clinic inside of here. We do not have a clinic inside here, but there is a small clinic in the town, just here. And then there's a larger one in the, the town called Kissy, a little bit farther away. The kids get sick and sick. Yes. Usually we take them to the house okay. and let the parents um, deal with it. Yes. We'll call them. The parent will come. If the parent can't come. Then we take it to the house. There's always somebody in the house here in town because they don't have that nuclear family idea here. You know, so the house is full of people. Family houses. They do get vaccines and they come to the schools and vaccinate the children. And it's the parents um, who decide whether or not they want vaccines. Oh, so they have a choice. They have a choice. Okay. Yes, they have a choice. It took us a while to accept letting them come in even. You know, they come in, they bring them worm medicine and um, things for malaria. They just recently came and brought mosquito nets for the bed. So they do um, medical outreach in that way as well. Yes. Yes. Do you have any connections uh, as far as video type connections with anybody over the United States? So I asked that question because I have a child development center. I told them one of the things that I wanted to do was try to connect with the school and be able to have a little bit so they could see what was going on with the children over here and things. Uh, like so live streaming, huh? Something, something, like, something that? like that? No, I don't have any connection like that in the U.S. Is there anything, any way that we can connect? We can always talk about it. We can always talk about it. That is so interesting. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you. Great. We'll make something happen. Great. That would be great for the children because they need to learn what's outside of Ghana. Yeah, and that would be great. You know, I try to give them a little bit of my knowledge here and there, but I'm basically trying to be African, so <laughs> I'll try to get from them. We blend, we blend the culture. Yes, yes, most definitely. How you doing, my brother? Good. Nice to see you. Okay, so if that's all, uh, I think we can do one. My enrollment, one, uh, 195? 195. I'm not real strong with that. <laughs> I, I'll introduce you to the uh, principal later. Okay. Uh -huh. But I'm sure she's running around doing so many things right now. So we'll give you one cultural dance, <laughs> and then I know you want to show a video. So our IC teacher is, is preparing like a, a white wall that you can show the video for. 